Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. As always, I'm David Cantu. Today, we're going to be talking about classic Batman and a new Metal Gear game. Let's get started. Holy jumping Jiminy! It looks like the Batman and Robin from the 1966 TV series is making a comeback, this time in an all-new animated movie. Adam West, Burt Ward, and Julie Newmar are going to be reprising their roles as Batman, Robin, and Catwoman in Batman The Return of the Cape Crusaders. It's also being teased that other villains like Joker, Riddler, and Penguin may be showing up as well. This is probably one of the coolest announcements for an animated film. I remember watching the show as a kid and thinking it was the best thing on TV without even realizing that it was something that aired 20 years earlier. It was also one of the first superhero shows that I've seen, so it kind of opened the door to something that's a big part of my life now. Will it be cheesy? Most likely. But, I mean, that's kind of what made the show great. And with it being an animated form, it opens it up to be even more absurd than what it already was. I'm definitely ready to see 66 Batman back in action, so look for Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders on Digital HD October 11th and on Blu-ray and DVD November 1st from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. In some surprising news, Konami has announced a new Metal Gear game called Metal Gear Survive. Honestly, I wasn't even going to bring it up on the show today, but fellow Cinema Deviant buddy Daniel Bertazon brought it to my attention, and I just couldn't ignore it. Basically, the story that's being told is that Metal Gear Survive takes place after Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes. Big Boss and Kaz leave their mother base after it's being attacked. Unfortunately, some of the staff gets left behind and gets pulled into a mysterious wormhole. They all end up in a place where they end up fighting these weird zombie parasite unit looking guys. Okay, just so I can get this out of the way. Even though Kojima isn't with Konami anymore, I was still hoping that they would continue the story of Big Boss or Venom Snake. Instead, what we're getting is a co-op multiplayer kind of game. The thing is, multiplayer has never been Konami's strong point. They failed so many times with the various versions of Metal Gear Online, and with all the stuff that Konami has gone through publicly, this really isn't helping their case. This might be appealing to people that like multiplayer games, but personally, I would like to continue a story with the main players involved. To me, it just sounds like Konami is saying that they can continue the franchise without the awesome characters that Kojima created. I just don't see it happening. Will I play it? I mean, probably, just to give it at least the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not going to expect much. Metal Gear Survive comes out sometime in 2017, so hopefully we'll be getting some more details soon. So what do you think about classic Batman coming back in animated form? And what about Metal Gear Survive? Do you think it's still going to be a good game without Kojima involved? Let's discuss in the comments below. Click on the one and only big boss to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.